This video has taken me over a year to make. It is one year in the making and this is my full Invisalign journey from start to finish. As you can see, uh, as you can see, my teeth are pretty decent. I'd go as far as saying that my teeth are perfect in terms of how I want them. They're white, they're straight, there's no gaps, and they look good, but that was not always the way. Basically, in this video, I'll tell you the whole story from start to finish, show you the progression of the, the treatment, how it went, my thoughts on it. Is it worth it? Does it hurt? What's it like when you get the retainers changed? Do I think you should do it? Would I do it again? And do I recommend it? Ironically, I've just eaten an apple, so I've probably got, um, what is it, apple? Suck them to my teeth. I spent about one year of my life with half a front tooth. Go last year, I've been forgiven. The link down below, make sure you work out. But the main part of the trip is I'm going to go to the gym. Right, let's go this. Right, let's smash it out. You can see that it's like, it is bad. It is not, it is not just a small gap, like it is a big gap and it is very, very obvious. It's getting to a point where people were commenting on YouTube, people were like taking the piss out of me. This stems back from when I was in school. So when I lost my baby teeth and when I got my big teeth, I always had this like gap and I thought I'd be able to get braces. I got to about 12, probably about 11, 12, 13 years old, found out I couldn't get braces and I was devastated. So going through school, living with gappy teeth, really not happy about it, didn't know what to do, was just like living with it, accepted it, but like never smiled in photos still. It was one, a big insecurity of mine. And uh, I got to a point where I was about, I think I was about maybe 16, 17, 18 years old. I was in the gym one day with my friend Connor and he slapped me on the back right before I was about to do a set of squats. And as he slapped me on the back, I went under the bar and I fell forwards teeth first onto the bar and I smashed out my front tooth. And the dentist that I went to did the most horrendous job at fixing my tooth. Ever. It was horrendous, it was bad. And over the course of the summer, over the next year, the tooth began to fall apart. Ultimately, it came to a point where I looked at myself, I was like, dude, you need to get this fixed. You can't keep going around with half a front tooth. It's gonna detrimentally affect you because obviously people judge you by your appearance. It's time to actually do something about it and sort it out because this tooth is only getting worse. So I looked at all the options and I basically decided that I was gonna go to Turkey and get veneers until someone called Casey Carnell, Dr. Casey Carnell from Bridgeways Dental messaged me and she was like, do not get that done, Mo. At least come up and have a chat with us first and I'll talk to you about this thing called Invisalign. And I've never heard of Invisalign before and I had like no idea what it was. I honestly thought the only thing that could make me have perfect or good teeth was the option of removing all my teeth and getting them veneered instead. She was like, okay, like come up to my practice. We'll have a chat about it. I can show you what we can do. I think you'd be much better off getting Invisalign. Went to a dentist. We're getting this done. Oh no. I ate an entire bag of popcorn about five minutes ago. Have I still got popcorn on my teeth? The surface is right, going right, two, three. I have to come here every day and not wash your teeth anymore. No, don't do that. This is what my teeth looked like at the start. They were a mess. They were a train wreck. I had a split going horizontally up my tooth, almost into the root. It almost had to be removed. It was not good. And before they could start Invisalign, they needed to fix my front tooth. So it took me from here to here. Bam. Oh, you done, yeah? No, no, we're not done. Are you gonna do that? Am I doing now? Yeah. Setting the filling. Okay. So it comes like a putty and it goes hard when you shine this light. Does that feel like it's in? Yeah, it feels lovely. Does it? Yeah. Awesome. What were you saying? That is much better. Once I did that, then we could start the process of Invisalign. So why didn't I go for veneers? Veneers are very destructive. You actually have to like destroy your original teeth in order to have veneers and get them in. And it's not like once you've got these veneers in, it's not like some super strong titanium tooth you've got on your teeth. They break, they can be damaged and where the original tooth is and the veneer attaches, you can get um, decay occurring in between those. So what can actually happen is veneers only have like a certain life and then you have to get them all changed and go through the whole like invasive surgery again and if your teeth actually rot away then you have to get dental implants drilled into your gums so I really wasn't keen for that and she explained that to me and she was like yeah it's probably why it's not great to get veneers at this young of an age if you really want them maybe consider it when you're older but try and avoid it if you can so I opted for Invisalign first thing we did was we did a consultation so I went in there and she basically sat me down she's like okay Mo how do you want your teeth to look next step is getting the actual molds of my teeth done and if you guys know anyone that's had braces in the old brace age you have to get this like a thick foam like injected into your mouth and crammed down your throat. Right, they're gonna scan my teeth, but the, the foam stuff I had in last time, which is basically the same thing, was not fun. 
No, it was not fun. Like I was like gagging for like 10 minutes. Your teeth are scanned of this camera. It's called photogrammetry. And basically what it does is it creates a 3D model of your teeth that goes into a computer. You get this 3D model created and that model is sent off to Invisalign where they make the retainers and they make sure they fit your teeth perfectly without having to have foam crammed down into your esophagus. What it also does, and this is the really, really cool part, is it projects, it creates a computer generated 3D model that predicts how your teeth are gonna move over what time frames. Your lines must be worn for 20 to 22 hours a day. Right, so these are the retainers. And then basically what happens is, I think you change them every week or every few weeks, you get sent new ones. And then when the new ones come, it's like slightly different. So rather than going to the dentist and having a brace and getting your brace tightened up, which adjusts your teeth, you get different gum shields, which are slightly different movements and gradually close the gap, all right. Oh, it's really not that bad at all. Although I sound like an absolute mongoloid trying to speak at the minute, I'll probably get used to it. I really don't really notice that. I really don't really notice that they're there. They're quite low profile. What do they look like? First set of aligners came through, put them in, pretty easy to get them in, pretty easy to take them out when you're doing it properly. A few weeks went by and then I had another appointment with a dentist where she fitted these things called attachments. All right, so you've been wearing this aligner for about a week. Yeah, a week. How have you been getting on with it? It was a lot more comfier than I thought it would be. How um, many hours a day have you been wearing it for? Precisely 22 hours a day. Have you? Exactly, yeah, to the T.O. time and everything. No, <laughs> okay, so our plan for today is to put your attachments on your teeth. So the attachments are like little little bumps that are on some of your teeth. All right, let's hope it stays. Have a seat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did I put this on before? What is this one? Stop talking. I was probably the most annoying patient as well because all I did was speak like all the time All I did was speak and use my phone and she like put up with it So fair play to her fair play So what we're doing here is they are putting on the attachments and what that does is it means that the retainer fits onto your teeth better I'm going to just roughen the surface of your teeth and I'm going to glue on the little attachments I've taken the attachment template out now. If you have a little feel with your tongue, you can feel there's some bumps on the surface of oh, your some of your teeth. Because I've got spots on my tongue. Yeah, so you can just about see them. And those are some of the teeth. Pull. They're gonna help certain of certain tooth movements. Did you find this bottom one difficult to put in because of that uh, really rotated tooth? I'm not hanging out quite. <laughs> Bit me and punch me in the same. Uh... Uh, I take this funky glasses off now. You, you can take the funky glasses off now. So I should be on the breeze to IB for when I go. I had some really cool glasses. I... Someone stole them. They were like kaleidoscope ones. So this is how your teeth are now. Um, and so if we have a little look, we can play the play the teeth through, so we can see them moving. So we see that about there. What week's that? I think about week twelve. Put the new aligner in for the first time and it's pretty weird to get in with the, the stuff in your teeth, like the spiky bits in your teeth, but you get used to it, it goes in super quick. Once it's in, it's in. They also give you these things called squidgies or squeegees, and basically it's like a thick bit of rubber that you can chew, and one, it stops your teeth from aching if they are aching. Two, it probably gives you a better jawline. Don't hold me to that, I just made that up. And three, it makes the results better. I'm currently on my way to my final dentist session right now. The Invisalign, which I should be wearing, but I'm not, is done. Look. How good do my teeth look? So I went last week and I got the uh, attachments grinded off. It feels good. It feels good to be done. Like it feels really, really good to be done. I can't wait. What I'm gonna get done today is I'm getting a wire fitted behind the backs of my teeth. So basically that's gonna be a, like an invisible retainer. Super happy with my teeth. Teeth are looking great. Bridgeways Dental are absolutely wonderful. They've done bits in terms of shaping and rebuilding my teeth. So a big shout out to Casey. On the app, there's like, maybe we should... Someone put their face underneath so I can see the exposure. 
Well, I'm going to be having this. Oh, it's a light even on. Oh my oh, god, right. that's bright. When you said wire, I was thinking like a brace. No, no, no. Um, it's literally just this really thin wire here that's going to just be glued to the back of these teeth just to help stop them rotating. Oh, not this thing again. <laughs> Final session was wire around the back, attachments removed, retainer given to me, and I am done. Do I need a retainer? Do I need to wear one of these aligner things? Nope. Once you're done with that, you're done with that. But even though I've got the wire around the back, it doesn't mean that I don't have to wear a retainer at night. It just means that if I miss one night of the retainer or something, it isn't really going to matter. But I still have to wear a retainer regularly to bed to stop my teeth from moving. But that's the same with anything, same with Invisalign, same with normal braces. So you still have to do that. Final session, she reshaped some of my front teeth and then did a little bit of whitening. And that was the end result. I'm absolutely delighted of how it looks over the moon. And I would recommend her and recommend it to anyone. Done bits and you, my teeth have gone from this to this. Obviously, if something takes like seven, eight months to do, you don't really realize it. But if we look at the 3D model, you can really see how much my teeth have moved like overall. And it's it kind of changes the shape of your face a little bit. From a side profile, I was a little bit buck tooth and I didn't even realize that my teeth like pointed out forwards, as you can see. And then if we go through the months, I can just see that all coming in beautifully. Pros and cons, pros and cons of Invisalign. I've compiled a list. The pros are it is invisible. You can't really see it. Um, hence why it's called Invisalign. You can take them out if you're going out. You're not meant to do this because you're meant to wear them for like 20 to 22 hours a day. But if you were going for a meal or something, you could take them out. If I was going to a festival or like a rave, I'd actually leave them in. Um, you don't have to get braces. You don't have to get these big train tracks. They are cheaper than veneers. Invisalign is cheaper. You get to keep your original teeth. You don't have to have them drilled out. It's non-invasive. So you're not gonna, you're not at risk from like losing all your teeth or getting your teeth filed down to little stumps. Cons, it's a pain in the ass if you lose them. Do not lose them, whatever you do. Um, um, it's also expensive. It's not cheap. It's cheaper, like, like I said, cheaper than the alternatives, cheaper than veneers, uh, but it's probably more expensive than braces. But it is completely worth it over braces in terms of the ability for them to be invisible and take them out. Other than that, I can't think of many cons. Like if you're unsure about something, list out the pros and cons and then look at it objectively on a piece of paper and that should make you come to a decision. And yeah, that was my Invisalign journey. I'm incredibly happy about it. Thank you to the guys and girls at Bridgeways Dental Southampton. Absolute bits. I hope to see them soon. And I highly, highly, highly recommend them if you're in the area. I live about three, four hours away and I'll travel to see them because they were so sick. Any questions down below, hit me up in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to them. That was my Invisalign journey. Peace out. I love you to bits. Thank you. Good night.